a flat universe. As the name implies, we are now looking at a universe that has a flat geometry. There is no curvature to it. So what causes a universe to be flat? Well, in this case, you've got a density equal to critical density. So in some ways, this is kind of like in Goldilocks. This is the just right universe in some respects because it does fall right in the middle of the extremes. Now, in a flat universe, it's going to expand forever but it's going to continuously get slower and slower. So it almost seems to stop, but it doesn't quite. And if we look at our graph here, so we've got size of the universe versus time. So we have seen our closed universe. It gets bigger and then it collapses back down. And we've seen our open universe that gets bigger and bigger forever and ever. So our critical density universe, our flat universe, will get bigger. But this line eventually is going to kind of look like it gets horizontal. Uh, if you came back you know, a million years later, the universe would be a tiny bit bigger. Then wait another million years, it would be a tiny bit bigger. But for you know all intents and purposes, it looks like it has stopped. Now what this graph is also showing us right here is this is essentially where we are now and this is why we don't know which universe we're in. All three are really similar at this stage in the history. Now if we were at this era it'd be very obvious which universe we were in. Uh, but now they're so close together we really don't know what kind of universe we live in. Is our universe going to collapse back down? Is it going to expand forever? Or is that expansion eventually going to slow to an almost stop? We don't know. And yet, there is a fourth observation of something our universe is doing that is completely unexpected. And that will be in our next tutorial.